The book Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, written by Harv Eker, is a masterpiece that allows us to compare the mindset of a winner with the mindset of those facing the reality of the economic market. According to the author, most of the things people do wrong regarding their money are due to the mental programming derived from the bad teachings transmitted by their parents, society in general, friends, the educational system, or the media. The renowned speaker argues that it's not what we don't know that prevents us from prospering. Our biggest obstacle is what we think we know, which turns out not to be true. In this way, Harv Eker presents in his book the 16 things that the rich do and the poor don't, emphasizing that it's not a comparison to discredit people's economic conditions, but to reevaluate their mental patterns, which trigger the permanent state of poverty, even if we believe they are correct. That said, let's listen carefully to each of these differences and progressively change these ways of thinking so that prosperity becomes an ally in our lives. Rule 1. Rich people think I create my life. Poor people think life is something that happens to me. Eker asserts that individuals are responsible for being the architects of their reality, regardless of external conditions. The willingness to transform our lives sets us on the path to prosperity. Imagine you decide to embark on a new project. A wealthy approach would be to take the initiative, chart a plan, and work to achieve your goals. In contrast, a poor mindset would be to passively wait and see what happens without taking responsibility for your own financial destiny. Be proactive in financial decision making. Instead of waiting for things to improve, identify areas where you can take action and take concrete steps to improve your economic situation. Rule 2. Rich people play the money game to win. Poor people play the money game not to lose. Those who go on the offensive tend to get better results. The mindset of moving forward should stimulate us more than the anguish generated by the fear of failure. A successful investor seeks growth opportunities, while someone with a poor mindset might avoid investing for fear of losing money. Learn about investments and financial strategies. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks to increase your wealth. In the financial world, risk aversion often translates to missed opportunities. Rule 3. Rich people commit to being rich. Poor people would like to be rich. Eker emphasizes that we get what we want, but we must assess what we subconsciously want and commit to creating wealth, not just expressing it in words. Committing means taking consistent actions toward wealth, such as saving and investing. Simply wishing for wealth without real commitment does not produce results. Set specific financial goals and actively work to achieve them. Commit to the process and make necessary adjustments in your lifestyle to reach your goals. Rule 4. Rich people think big. Poor people think small. The size of our thoughts matters for our progress. Thinking big expands our possibilities and satisfaction zone. A successful entrepreneur might envision expanding their business internationally, while someone with a limited mindset would settle for a local market. Broaden your horizons and set ambitious goals. Don't limit yourself to what seems achievable at the moment. Think big and work to achieve it. Rule 5. Rich people focus on opportunities. Poor people focus on obstacles. Thinking about the benefits that will be generated stimulates the mind to optimize results and overcome obstacles. Prioritizing opportunities expands our margin of action. Faced with a change in the market, rich people might see new investment opportunities, while poor people would focus on challenges and potential losses. Develop a problem-solving mindset. Instead of fearing obstacles, look for ways to overcome them and seize the opportunities that may arise. Rule 6. Rich people admire rich and prosperous people. Poor people are upset by rich and prosperous people. Admiring entrepreneurs is a good habit, inspiring us to achieve similar results. Criticizing those who succeed convinces us that we must be poor to be okay. Celebrating the success of others and learning from them is a rich attitude. 
Feeling envy or resentment toward others' success reflects a poor mindset. Surround yourself with successful people and learn from them. Admiration and inspiration can be powerful drivers for your own economic growth. Rule 7. Rich people relate to positive and prosperous people. Poor people relate to negative and unsuccessful people. Our social circle influences our development. Connecting with people with dreams and convictions propels us toward success. Forming networks with successful entrepreneurs can open doors to opportunities. Associating with negative individuals can limit your vision and energy. Cultivate positive and constructive relationships. Seek connections that share your financial goals and propel you toward growth. Rule 8. Rich people are willing to promote themselves. Poor people think negatively about selling and promotion. Self-confidence is key. Promoting oneself is essential for finding better opportunities in the market. A successful entrepreneur knows how to sell their brand and skills. Those who avoid promotion may miss out on business opportunities. Learn to highlight your strengths and promote your skills. Self-confidence is essential to attract economic opportunities. Rule 9. Rich people are bigger than their problems. Poor people are smaller than their problems. Facing problems is an opportunity for growth. Being bigger than the problems makes us more capable and relevant in personal and business life. Facing challenges with determination and long-term vision is a rich attitude. Feeling overwhelmed by problems demonstrates a poor mindset. Develop resilience and seek solutions instead of focusing on problems. Every challenge overcome is an opportunity for growth. Rule 10. The rich are excellent receivers, the poor are bad receivers. Learning to receive and retain blessings is fundamental. Valuing ourselves and feeling deserving allows us to achieve true financial freedom. Knowing how to receive compliments, favors, and opportunities shows appreciation. Constantly rejecting shows a scarcity mindset. Learn to receive with gratitude. The ability to accept blessings and recognition will open doors and build valuable relationships. Rule 11. The rich choose to be paid based on results. The poor choose to be paid based on time spent. Depending on time limits earnings. Seeking income sources where results determine earnings is key to wealth. A successful entrepreneur can receive income based on their business's performance. Those who only seek fixed income for hours work to limit their financial potential. Look for result-based income opportunities. This may include commissions, profit sharing, or strategic investments. Rule 12. The rich think both. The poor think either this or that. Maintaining an abundance mindset allows choosing more than one option. It is possible to succeed in various aspects of life. Having an abundance mindset involves seeking balance between a successful career and quality time with family. A scarcity mindset tends to see this as an exclusive choice. Find ways to integrate different aspects of your life. Don't limit yourself to binary options. Seek solutions that allow you to enjoy both professional success and personal life. Rule 13. The rich focus on their net worth. The poor focus on what they earn from their work. Diversifying income sources is crucial for financial peace of mind. Net worth goes beyond the monthly salary. Evaluating your net worth involves considering assets and liabilities, not just income. Those who only focus on income may lose sight of their true financial situation. Maintain financial balance by evaluating both what you earn and what you own. Asset diversification is key to long-term economic stability. Rule 14. Rich people manage their money well. Poor people manage their money poorly. Managing even small sums correctly is key to large returns. Budgeting is the foundation for creating fortunes. Keeping a budget and controlling expenses is a rich practice. Ceasing to manage money properly reflects a lack of commitment to financial growth. Establish a budget and consistently track your finances. 
Efficient money management is essential for building long-term wealth. Rule 15. The rich make their money work hard for them, the poor work hard for their money. Understanding that money must work for us allows for limitless earnings without physical or mental limits. Investing in assets that generate passive income is a rich strategy. Working exclusively for salary limits economic growth potential. Learn about investments that generate passive income, such as real estate or financial investments. Making your money work for you is fundamental to achieving financial freedom. Rule 16. The rich act despite fear. The poor let fear stop them. Facing fears means growth. Progressing despite fear implies making money and overcoming internal demons. Making risky but informed financial decisions demonstrates courage. Allowing fear to paralyze can result in missed opportunities. Confront your financial fears with information and planning. Acting despite fear is key to overcoming obstacles and achieving ambitious economic goals. The rules presented by Harv Eker invite us to reflect on our perceptions and attitudes toward money. It's not just about accumulating wealth, but cultivating a mindset that allows us to achieve our financial and personal goals. Remember that changing our mental patterns is not an instant process, but every small adjustment counts. By adopting these rules, you embark on a journey toward a more prosperous and fulfilling life. True wealth is not only measured in terms of income, but in the ability to face challenges, learn from them, and continue to grow. The key is to take action, commit to change, and, above all, maintain an open mindset towards opportunities. So, I encourage you to incorporate these rules into your daily life, challenge your own beliefs, and cultivate a mindset that allows you not only to achieve financial success, but also to enjoy a rich and abundant life. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-transformation. If you find these rules helpful, share them with those who are also seeking the path to prosperity. Remember, wealth begins in the mind. May your journey to prosperity be filled with success and fulfillment.